Hello everybody, my name is Avery, and I wanted to learn a little bit about Telnet and hosting it would go. So I just wanted to quickly show you a small project that I worked on. If you guys aren't familiar, um, Telnet is just a way of connecting to computers basically um, through TCP, or at least the way that I set it up is through TCP, maybe it can be set up in different ways. There's this cool thing that I've seen off and on throughout the years um, where you can actually watch the original Star Wars movie via Telnet. Um, you just connect to this website and it'll scroll through and basically show you the movie. Um, okay, it'll just take a second there. See, 20th Century uh, Fox, basically. Um, but it's going to scroll through, as you can see on this website. It basically just plays the movie, but using ASCII art. Um, I'm not going to do it as complex as this because, you know, other than learning Telnet and whatnot, someone also had to make this whole thing. But I decided to make a similar project. It's using the B-Movie. Um, there's a lot of things out there, jokes about the B-Movie script. So I found it hosted on GitHub. There are several places that have it hosted. Um, just a text file. So here on my server, I have the script. It's just in here, and I'll show you the actual code. Um, so the code has this main file. I have it listening at port 2007. That's the year that the movie came out. And I'm telling it to look through TCP. I'm using my UFW, my firewall. I just have that port to open um, for TCP. And then I just have a check if there's an error, if it wasn't working. And then I defer to close it. Um, so defer and go means that when it's able to be closed, um, close it. So basically it means just close it at the end of your program. So that means you don't have to write up all your code and remember to add that to the end. You can just say, this is going to need to be closed. And then I just had this for loop. Originally in the for loop, I had it um, basically to send out the file. But because of that, if you have multiple clients connect, only one client is being treated at once. So because of that, I'm using just go. Um, I believe that's like uh, creating a new thread or whatnot. And saying handle client, and I have a connection. And I give it the file name. Uh, this itself actually isn't necessary because I, I, mean, I could just have it hard-coded wherever. I was originally loading the file and sending in that file that I had loaded. But that was actually causing it to not work correctly. Um, when I make one connection, it loads the file from the beginning. If I make the next, another connection, it loads the file from a different point in the file. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. Um, it works. Feel free to share in the comments. Um, any fixes or any sort of even security measures that I could take. So the connection and then the path of the file. And here is where I actually load the file. So originally this was up here. So I load the file and then I basically just read through it. And I have it um, pause every uh, half second. Because if I don't have that pause, it's actually going to be instantaneous basically. Um, as you can see here, you know, there's slow movements. But if there wasn't any sort of pausing... It would just quickly dump all the data as fast as possible. Um, and then it disconnects. I can do go run that. Um, actually, is it going to work? Um, I don't even know what this error is about. But it's not working because I actually created a systemd thing for it. So be service. This is what it is. I just give it that. Uh, I told it where it was and told it what command to run. And this is an example file. Um, it's not actually in this location. It's in my systemd directory. Um, then, like I mentioned, I just open up the port. So, let's uh, restart the service. Um, it's restarted. We can look at the status of it. Um, as we can see, there it's running. Um, there's probably better ways of doing this. I have a you can view the journal log as well. Um, so that's just the journal of it. So I have it listening. I can see when it started or stopped. Um, but just like I did connect it to this one, I can go ahead and connect to mine. So it's going to be Telnet. My computer is the champs.co um, 2007. And let's go ahead and run it. And uh, along with the script that I downloaded, I also use a figlet just to create this little uh, title of the movie. And as you can see, it's just printing out the script one line at a time. So I thought that was kind of cool. And if we were just to go on another computer, 
I don't have a terminal in this instance. It'll connect and start over again. So feel free to try this out yourself. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this running. I'll probably have to keep it running for a while if anyone has any concerns. Just leave in the comments or anything like that. Um, my videos are monetized. Uh, maybe if this video gets enough views, I'll actually pay for a different URL. So um, feel free to check the comments or description in case I use a different URL. Um, with that said, thechamps.co, it is a small website that I've made with a friend. I've showed it a few times on the channel. But basically, you can just go on here and join uh, gaming tournaments. Um, and the tournaments are to make it so you can play with your friends and play with people that you want to meet um, to win prizes and to win cash. Um, a lot of this stuff is to pay to enter, um, but it's just something that I'm getting started. So if you guys are interested in something like that, feel free to check it out as well. Um, so I, yeah, I just thought this was interesting. The code, it's pretty simple. Um, if enough people request it, I guess I'll upload the code somewhere. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm technically allowed to upload like the script anywhere. But I mean, I found it uh, in multiple instances online. So thanks again for watching, and see you guys again next time. Bye.